February 2016. And that is when the ovarian cancer saved my life. The scan found no problems in my abdomen, but a little nodule in my lung that had been noticed but considered insignificant the year before. We did more tests, a PET scan, a CT-assisted lung biopsy, and Dr. McCollum had to tell me I had lung cancer. I am now up to four of the cancer colors on Georgia Mason's mermaid in front of Virginia Oncology's Lake Wright building. The ubiquitous pink, black for melanoma. Ovarian is a lovely teal, white for lung cancer. And any way you look at it, lung cancer is scary. This time, I wanted to go straight to Duke. On April 7th of last year, I had my first contact with Duke's pulmonology program, a phone call from Scott Balderson, physician assistant for thoracic surgeon Dr. Thomas D'Amico. I was up and doing laps around the hospital floor at Duke the day after Dr. D'Amico had thoroscopically removed my lower right lobe. He says I don't need radiation or chemotherapy four days after my May 9th lung cancer surgery. Gary and I got together with former colleagues from WVEC. Friday the 13th has always been a special day for the Channel 13 clan. I couldn't stay long, but I couldn't believe I felt well enough to attend it all. And you know what? The man who took this picture, he told me that night he too had just been diagnosed with lung cancer. I talked to him about my experience, just as a couple of former patients had shared their stories with me before my surgery, to enormous benefit. It's been 16 months since my lung cancer surgery, almost two and a half years now since the ovarian cancer surgery. On Christmas Eve, my diagnosis of melanoma will be eight years ago. My breast cancer surgery was almost 18 years ago. A year and a half ago, I vowed to Elizabeth Simpson to cultivate resilience. And in that process, you'll figure out who you really are. And you just might become the very best version of yourself. When I was on TV, I was live each day. I'm urging you now to live each day in the moment. And if you find a lump or a bump or a funny mole, or if your clothes don't fit right suddenly, for heaven's sakes, talk to your doctor. And for my sake. So I won't have bared my soul and shown my bare head in public for nothing. <laughs>